Collierville Police Chief Dale Lane was just a little more than a year on the job when that call came in about shots fired at that Kroger. Yeah, he recently sat down one on one with our Richard Ransom to reflect on the biggest day of his more than 30 year career in law enforcement. It could have been way worse and it's we're, we're blessed. Collierville Police Chief Dale Lane still keeps a framed letter from an 11 year old who wrote him after that terrible day one year ago, which says in part, I know that the big shooting was really scary for you, but God is with you and so am I. I will be praying for you and your family. While encouraging letters can certainly help, like everyone who experienced that mass shooting, Chief Lane says he can never forget what happened. I was in this office and the first thing I heard come out over that radio was 18 shots fired in the Delhi area um, and then everybody tore out of here. When the chief says everybody, he's not exaggerating. He was meeting with one of his majors while another meeting was going on with members of the command staff in the room right next door. They were all at that Kroger parking lot in about 90 seconds, in part because shots were fired close to shift change 36 officers, detectives, and members of that command team could get to the scene immediately. They went right to work, securing a 90,000 square foot store with the shooter still on the loose. Collierville dispatchers were getting more calls than they could handle. The dispatchers were getting just inundated with call after call after call after call. And it was, you know, it, it was so many calls coming in that the system just became overwhelmed and then began to turn over to the sheriff's office and to the Memphis Police Department. Ask Chief Lane now what made the difference, why more people weren't killed, and he'll give three reasons. First, the speed of the response. It wasn't long before some 200 officers were on the scene from Memphis, Shelby County, Germantown, the TBI and the FBI. Almost twice the total number of sworn officers than the entire town of Collierville. Second, the training, not only of his officers for active shooter situations. It's one thing to, to train when there's no pressure, there's no risk of being injured, um, and it's another thing uh, when everything is on the line. But also everyone inside the store, from customers to Kroger employees. There was no question in my mind when I went in that building that morning, um, we're still searching for the suspect, but I knew that they had been trained, that those employees had been trained to run hot fight. And finally, Chief Lane credits those Collierville firefighters who went into that building before it was secure, many wearing ballistic helmets and vests so they could give medical attention to those who needed it. In short, training, training, training. From officers to firefighters to citizens, training made all the difference. You can hope all day long that it doesn't happen, but hope's not a plan. Fortunately, on that day last September, they had both hope and a plan. In Collierville, I'm Richard Ransom.